Hello everyone, welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nandkyolir and in this video we will be discussing the Nobel Prize in Physics which has very recently been announced. So let's see who will be presented with this year's award. As we know that the Nobel Prizes every year are announced in the month of October and presented on the 10th of December because this is the death anniversary of Alfred Nobel. And this year's Nobel Prize in Physics will be presented to three scientists. John Clark, Michelle H. Devore and John M. Martini. These three scientists will be presented with this year's Nobel Prize in Physics. And what was their discovery? The discovery of macroscopic quantum mechanical tunneling and energy quantization in an electric circuit. Now these might look like some heavy terms here, but they're very easy to understand. We'll talk about them in detail. So these scientists, they basically discovered that two phenomena of quantum mechanics, which are tunneling and energy quantization, they exist even at a macroscopic level. So let's talk about the discovery here. We are talking about two phenomena. One is tunneling and second, is energy quantization. Now, before we understand the experiment, let's first understand what do we mean by these phenomena. Now, tunneling. Let's say this is a hill and there is a ball. These are points A and point B. We want to move the ball from point A to point B. How will we be able to do that? So, this ball will need to climb up the hill, enough energy is required, enough energy needs to be given to this ball in order for it to climb up the hill and then it can go downhill and then it will be able to move from point A to point B. This is the normal scenario, this is the normal physics scenario or the classical physics scenario versus what happens in quantum mechanics. In the case of tunneling, this ball will be magically transported from point A to point B through a tunnel point A to point B through a tunnel because we believe that these electrons, these particles here, ball is believed to be an electron here. So, these electrons, they also behave as particles as well as as waves and these waves can basically leak through the barriers. Waves know no barrier. So, they can leak through the barriers and they can magically transport from one place to another. They can magically tunnel through one place to another. And this entire process is known as tunneling. This phenomena is known as tunneling. And this phenomena is observed at a microscopic level, at a quantum level. So, first phenomena is tunneling and the second phenomena is energy quantization which means that our energy is quantized meaning that the particles they can basically exist at specific designated energy levels only they cannot exist anywhere in between or just randomly flow anywhere now again understand this with the help of an example let's say we have a staircase one two three these are the points and this is a ramp now you can either move at step 1, you can either be at step 2, you can either be at step 3, you cannot be at step 1.5 or 2.5 or 3.5, you can only be at designated steps. So, this is what energy quantization means versus what happens in a ramp, you can be anywhere, you can be at any level. So, under normal circumstances like in classical physics, energy can flow anywhere, energy does not need to be quantized at designated levels, energy quantization is observed in quantum mechanics only. Quantum mechanics and tunneling is also observed in quantum mechanics and quantum mechanics happens at a quantum level, at a level of electrons, at a level of um, at atoms and molecules. So, it happens at an atomic level. Now, what did these scientists discover? These scientists discovered that these phenomena, the phenomena of tunneling and the phenomena of energy quantization was also observed in a man-made macroscopic electric circuit. So, they created an electric circuit, a circuit which could be held in hand. So, it was macroscopic, it was man-made and it was made up of two superconductors. Two superconductors separated by a thin layer of an insulator. And this point is known as the Josephson Junction. 
Now, when energy is passed through it or when electricity is passed through it, ideally it should not be able to move through the circuit because these two superconductors, they have an insulator in between. But what happens, it can, the electricity or the energy can basically flow through the entire circuit because of an effect which is known as the Josephson effect. So this was discovered in 1960s where basically this complete circuit, it, this com these two superconductors, they basically behave as one complete circuit, one big quantum particle. So these superconductors and the insulator, they behave like one particle and electricity can flow through it because of the principles of quantum mechanics. And this was observed in 1960s at a microscopic level, at a quantum level. Now what happened, like what did these new scientists they discovered? They replicated the same thing at a macroscopic level. So they replicated the Johnson's or uh, the Josephson's effect at a macroscopic level at a man-made macroscopic level so this electric circuit could also show us the Josephson effect because the complete circuit it started behaving like one big quantum particle so this was their discovery how is this happening this is basically the energy is basically able to flow from one place to another through the process of tunneling like a magical tunnel in between so tunneling was observed here and secondly energy quantization was also observed here. When they gave energy to this electrical circuit, they, they observed that the circuit, they basically showed energy quantization. It could only exist, like the energy could only exist at designated parts of the circuit, at designated energy levels of the circuit and it could not just flow anywhere. So energy quantization was also seen and uh, tunneling was also seen where electricity could just pass through it and everything behaved like one big quantum particle. So they discovered that all these quantum mechanics principles, they can also apply to our classical physics they can also apply to macroscopic levels so that is why the discovery becomes significant because quantum right now is the backbone of the complete digital era and this is now going to help us in our quantum computing also in creating ultra sensitive sensors also so a lot of things are going to change because now we know that the replication of phenomena at a quantum level can also happen at a macroscopic level at a man-made level so that was all for today's video i hope you were able to understand these different phenomena of quantum mechanics and now let's practice a question for prelims. The 2025 Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded for experiments using superconducting circuits with Josephson junctions. What key quantum phenomena were observed in these circuits? A. Quantum tunneling and energy quantization. B. Nuclear fission and fusion. C. Classical conduction and resistance. D. Gravitational waves. Choose the correct option. Please provide your answers in the comment section and we will meet in a new video. Thank you for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.